This is Slough Fort that was built in, in the 1860s and what we've done over the last five years as a community project is uncover it. And as you can see we've got a lot of uh, volunteers from the village here working and uh, we've got quite an age range here from some teenagers and right up to about the mid 70s. One of the men here who's retired said, well I used to weld, if we had the equipment I could do that. So we suddenly realised there's a wealth of knowledge that retired people have got and we've identified that these people are willing to share their skills. So if we can buy the equipment, we can do the job ourselves or maybe it'll save money and other people will learn. A lot of people look forward to coming here. I mean, despite the weather, everyone turns up. Winter, we've been covered in snow, rain, everything. They all still work. There's a social side to it as well, where we have a bit of banter halfway through with the bacon sandwiches. We are also uh, doing trips, which are not costing anyone anything. We've been out to Tilbury to look at another fort, and next month we're going down to Weymouth, hiring a minibus. It's not going to cost anybody anything. Keith, who's helping me at the moment, he's uh, not done much electrical work for many, many years. It's quite nice uh, getting in and getting involved together and wiring the place up. Normally my son comes with me as well, so it's quite a nice time to uh, spend with him. I've got a load of uh, lights to put up and wire and it's quite a nice legacy to leave. And um, I like to think that if my son comes in here with his family in 20, 30 years time, he'll be able to say that he's helped his dad do them. You have a good laugh down here. You still see people outside of here. Uh, when you're walking your dog for example but we're all looking forward to it and people are building up their confidence enough now that they talk to the public about it and we're getting more and more people volunteering to come out.